currency market on a continued decline, no major movement on the upside. Over the past 24 hours, the Bitcoin price has increased by 1.4% from $7,410 to $7,550 after recording a sudden spike by volume, as shown below in the 30 minute chart of Bitcoin below. Cryptocurrency market has also moved up sickly, but has struggled to record any major movement. Bitcoin to $6,000. Why several bulls, including Wall Street firm from Duster, founder Tom Lee, and John McAvoy have experienced the optimistic in regard to the short-term growth of Bitcoin. It's highly likely that the Bitcoin price dropped to the lower end of $6,000, as suggested by cryptocurrency researcher Willy Wu. We are gonna go to $5,500 to $5,700 next. I can't see $7,000 holding. Most likely we will balance a bit that we will size through. Long time for here, looking into June for the route teaming of the play to a best guess, said Wu. Based the oversell strong downtrend of Bitcoin, high NVT signal and volatility, Wu suggested that the unlikely Bitcoin record a major bonus from the current level back to the $8,000 region. This investor and a block tower co-founder Ari Powell raised a similar point on May 25th, stating that due to the current period of low volume consolidation, an average increase in volume and price is not expected. Always a good bet for low to mean event. But this has been a low volume consolidation, which is much weaker step for explosive moves in high volume consolidation, Paul explained. Then in the third minute chart of Bitcoin above, the volume of Bitcoin and the intercryptocurrency market had remained relatively low since mid-May, when the Bitcoin price started to fall after testing the $10,000 region. Apart from three buy and sell spike since May 24th, the volume of Bitcoin has remained significantly low in comparison to April and early May. In yesterday reports, we suggested that the following Bitcoin trend since January is likely that the Bitcoin price bounce from the $6,500 level in the short term. But analysts see the Bitcoin price dipping below the $6,000 level, especially if the market cannot regain volume in a safe manner. Permable. Tom Lee, who called a 70% increase in value of Bitcoin after consent to 2018's conference in New York, reported back to the institutional investor argumented to predict $25,000 price targets for Bitcoin in short term. I think institutional investors have gained a lot of interest, and they haven't really come into cryptocurrency yet, because there's still some regulator uncertainty. But that such an ultimate allocation into crypto and assets classing is going to be a powerful reason why Bitcoin relies. Currently, a very small number of institutional investors exist in the cryptocurrency sector, and large scale multi billion dollar pension and funds are struggling to uncure cryptocurrency due to regulatory handlers. Bulls likely believe some regulatory clarity will lead institutional investors to invest in the market, and even if institutional investor enters the market, it will take many months for them to commit with the large allocations.